Just picked up some new ammo for my Glock 36 and I'm going to test it out on some water jugs and wood. I have four layers of denim on front of the water jugs and then four 2x4s I'm going to shoot into. The ammo I just picked up is 45 auto plus P200 grain. The ballistics are not listed on the box so I had to look it up and I was pretty amazed at it. It was out of a 5 inch barrel which is longer than this barrel but, but, but out of that 5 inch barrel it's listed at 1,080 feet per second for that 200 grain bullet which is 518 foot-pounds of energy. That's massive. That's, that's a lot of energy for any 45 auto, but it is a plus P. So I'm gonna go back and test it on these, on these uh, water jugs and wood, and then when I'm done, I'm gonna shoot at my target at seven yards to see what kind of accuracy I can get with a couple rounds just free-handed with that. So here we go. All right, spear gold dot versus water jugs and wood. Here we go. That's a plus P, so I expect a splash. Here we go. Wow. <laughs> Whew. Now I'm going to shoot the wood with that gold dot. <laughs> Holy cow. <laughs> Holy cow. All right. Now I'm actually eight yards from my target at this point. I'm going to put a couple rounds center mass and see where I'm hitting with accuracy. Well, that's a plus P. You can tell that's a plus P. I can't even hear it right through here. That's pretty loud. All right. Wow. One, two, third jug. Look at this jug. This is the first one. I've never seen anything like that other than in a 44 mag or something like that. That's, that's massive. Jug 2 really mangled that up. We got jug 3 over here. That is beautiful. Four layers of denim and look at that bullet. Absolutely beautiful. I'm going to take that, measure it. My guess right now would be close to 80 caliber, 80 one hundredths of an inch. Perfect, perfect expansion. Beautiful. I'm going to go get that target. This is the man target. That's my first shot, that's my second. So this is not something I have ever shot before, this type of ammo. I suppose that's not bad. I would not want to get hit with that round, I can tell you that much. That is, ooh. All right, now I'm gonna take a look at the wood. There's my entrance point here. A little bit low from point of aim. Three boards going on here. First board, entrance. Second board right through it. Second board. I would say that's through and through. Even bigger hole there. Here's your third board. And I see the bullet buried more than halfway through that third board. So for a hollow point, to do that, that's got some serious energy behind it. Usually hollow points will get into about the second board with the 45. 
That is some serious stuff, and I believe everything that says on that box is about those velocity numbers, because getting the three aged two by fours, almost straight through three, and I can tell you it's expanded too. That is some serious power. So that's what you get with uh, the 200 grain gold dot plus P. Perfect expansion on water. Massive penetration expansion on wood. Out of a 45, you can't ask for much more. So that's what you get. So thanks for watching. All right. Got this uh, steer gold dot, 200 grain plus P rounds. I'm going to see if I can hit my 13 inch by 9 inch plate out there at 50 yards. If I can even, even hit it. So here we go. That was close. I think I got right below it, kicked up some dirt, and it came up and hit it. So I was about two inches low, but still, all within the same area. The misses off that plate were just a couple inches low, and the one hit. So overall, good accuracy, even at 50 yards. So, anyways. Thanks for watching.